everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica. If you're new here, I make videos about fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and travel, but on a budget. So if any of those topics sound like something that you're interested in, make sure that you hit that red subscribe button so that you can join my little fam here. I upload about two to three times a week, and I'm sure you will absolutely love my content. If you've been around here for a while, thank you so much for clicking on this video and uh, coming to hang out with me. Today, we're doing another nail video because you guys know I love to have cute nails and especially right now during the pandemic when nail salons are kind of you know, whatever. I've been looking for alternative ways to have awesome nails during this time and also let's be honest save some money because it is expensive to go to the nail salon and get your nails done on a regular basis. So a couple of you all requested that I do a video for a nail company called Dashing Diva. If you haven't checked out my other nail videos I'll link them down below I have one where I basically give you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how I put on press-on nails to make them last for like two to three weeks it's a great video if you're new to press-ons I highly suggest you can go in the description box and find that I also recently did a little bit of a review on another nail brand company called static nails um, so if you all are interested in that one that is also linked below I went ahead on to dashing divas website and bought three different uh, nail packs. I bought their Dashing Diva Gloss, and these are kind of like those stick-on gel nail type situations. I've used something like this in the past. It's been a while, but I'm interested to try this out. I also bought their Magic Press nails, and I got them in this really, really fun like Christmas motif. I mean, I love these little uh, sweater ones. I hope it's showing up on the camera. That is so freaking cute. Also wanted to try their Dashing Diva gel nail kit. These are like traditional glue on press on nails and these are a bit longer. They have this really cool art deco thing going on with them. I got three of their different types of nails because I wanted to try out the full gambit. I wanted to try on these little gel ones because I need to give like my real nails a little bit of a break from like glue and press on. I wanted to try the magic press ones because these are typically the kind that I don't like because these are the ones that have like the little sticker on the back of them and usually I'm not a fan of that type. I usually like the traditional glue on ones because I find I'm able to work these a little bit better and make them stay on my nails longer. So I'm going to give these another shot. This video is going to be a full on comprehensive review of all of these three different types of nails from Dashing Diva as well as wear tests and um, all that good stuff. So if you want to see how each of these different types of nails perform from Dashing Diva, then just keep watching um, because this video is going to go in depth with all of that. Like I said, we're going to get started with Dashing Diva Gloss Ultra Shine Gel Palette. So these are basically little stickers that you stick onto your nails. So my nails are bare um, and basically what the instructions tell you to do is to go ahead and wash your hands, shape your nails, and push back your cuticles and then you just take um, a little bit of alcohol on a cotton swab and or acetone and you just wipe that over all your nails to make sure that there's no residue or oils or anything on them. You want your nails to be completely bare before you do anything um, like this or press-ons of any sort. And then we get to work. So I'm gonna go ahead and take care of my cuticles and shape my nails off camera and I will be right back this with you. This says that these nail strips last for up to 14 days. So we, were, we are gonna see if that is the case. I do put my hands through a lot of abuse. So we're gonna see about it. Similarly to when you have to do press-ons, we need to sort of figure out which nails are gonna fit on which actual nail. It comes with a bunch of these green sparkly ones. They're kind of like an ombre. Then it also comes with just four of these little sparkly ones. So these are supposed to be accent nails. And then it also comes with four of these like more like matte looking ones. And then we've got these little pencil stickers that we can stick onto a nail. We have to kind of decide how we want the configuration of the nails to be as well. So they say if you're between nail sizes, you should go to a smaller one because what you don't want is you don't want the um, sticker to adhere to your skin on your cuticle. You want it to just be on the nail because if it gets on your skin, that is going to make it so that your nail does not last as long. This is kind of challenging, I feel like, because I feel like with fake nails, like press-ons, you can physically like take the nail and like place it on your nail and see how it fits. But with this, it's like a piece of paper. So I feel like I'm kind of guesstimating. The best thing to do is take a pair of tweezers and lift it off. I did not bring tweezers with me. I'm just gonna go ahead and try it with my cuticle clippers. <laughs> Hopefully that works. Cool. Now, I'm gonna place this on my thumb. And 
then you want to just push it down and smooth it outwards. That seems like it's not quite fitting over my whole finger. It's not the end of the world, but I guess I know for the next, my other thumb, what to do. Now we've got this sort of over part. So what you wanna do is you take your nail file and you just go in one direction, it says, and file it down. I would think it would come off by now. Okay, there we go. Not the best work ever, but like I said, I'm a little rusty. It's really hard because you have to like really place it properly. Really put some pressure on it. This one seems like it went on a bit better as air bubbles out. It doesn't really file off very easily, I will say. All right, now for the sparkly. I'm gonna guess that I'm gonna want this bigger one. All right, then I'm gonna take one of these little jewels and stick this on my ring finger as an accent. I don't know how well that's gonna stay, but it looks cute. Let me just give it some pressure. One more nail to go, sparkly nails. Here's my initial pass through on these nails. This sticker, this little rhinestone thing is already irritating me, so I don't know how long that's gonna last, but it does look nice. This nail is the one that just looks kind of funky to me. It just looks like it doesn't really belong. I don't know why they included this color with the rest of this, cause it just like, I don't know, I don't like it. So I think I'm gonna take this off and I'm gonna put this type. So I would just have one nail uh, as the accent. It's not too hard to take off actually. I'm gonna do my other hand off camera and then we will chat about these nails. I've got my little gel nails on. This was a learning process for me. I definitely don't feel like I'm very pro at this and I'm skeptical as to how long they're gonna last. Uh, so stay tuned, we will see. I will take you guys right along with me and let you know any updates um, as I wear these over the next couple weeks. Hopefully they last 14 days, like they say, because I like to get the most wear out of my nails as I can. So that's it for now, and I'll check back in with you guys when I have something new to report. So it is now about a week after I filmed the putting on of the stickers on my nails. As you can see, uh, left hand not doing so hot. If my camera would ever learn how to focus, that would be great. <sighs> left hand, as you can see, not doing so great. <laughs> Uh, this one was the first one to come off and it just peeled right off and then this one I ended up just taking off because it was already going to come off this hand uh, I lost the little stone that I put on it in general I will say my nails were in pretty crap shape to begin with I think they were a bit abused from the way that I removed my last uh, press on nails I think I should not have ripped them off like I did but that's where we're at so yeah my, my nails themselves are like chipping and breaking just because they just I mean, even, even when I don't damage my nails, they're already really bad. Do I really like these sticker things? The answer is no, and I have learned that. I decided to give them another try after some time, and I've decided that they suck, and I'd rather just have press-ons because um, with press-ons, you know, it's a fake nail over the top of my crappy real nails, and that just works out so much better for me. So the stickers are a big no for me, but if you happen to have good natural strong nails, might be a cool option. Just realize that they don't really have very good durability after about um, five days for me is when they really started to show some wear and tear. So just keep that in mind. Yeah, not my favorite. Next, we're gonna move on now to their Magic Press Press On Nails. These are the ones that are basically the easy to do ones where you really just have to like peel off the tab and stick them on. Again, I know from personal experience that these are not exactly my favorite. However, it has been a minute since I tried this type. I'm hoping that by choosing this set that maybe because they're not glue on, maybe it'll be a little bit easier on my nails somehow. I'm just gonna open this up, I've already prepped my nails, they're all ready to go. You can see, this kit comes with a little mini file and um, 
cuticle pusher. I know there's a name for these, but I always forget what it is. It also comes with a little prep pad, which I'm actually going to use here in a second just to make sure my nails are all nice and clean and then we've got all the nails i really love these i like how they are freaking so adorable so you got like little sweaters and like cable knit it, this is like 3d if you touch it it actually is like raised and then we have glitter i just really loved these holiday designs and they have so many fun designs on their website so even if it's not the holidays they are a plus on the design department now is the point that you know very well i need to go and figure out which nails are going to fit on which nails so i'm just going to go ahead and try them out and arrange them according to the order all right now i've got them all lined up the little plastic tabs are on the bottom of the nail and they all have their own little number on them so if you find one that fits for one hand then you can go into the rest of the nails and find the matching one for the other hand that is like a really quick time saving tip for this now go ahead and leave the thumbs for last and do the rest of the hands first apparently these are these adhesives are pressure sensitive the more pressure that you put on the nail the better it will adhere and the longer lasting your nails will be so we're gonna try it out guys get it right up to your cuticle and make sure it's nice and lined up the way you like it and then really go for the gusto hold it down and i really put a lot of focus near the bottom near my cuticle because that is where fake nails start to like get raised after a little while and that's pretty annoying when it's in your hair it pulls your hair and it hurts when you put your hand through your hair nail number one One hand down, one more to go. So I wanted to check back in with you guys. It has been a day since I applied these nails. And uh, yeah, my left hand basically only has the middle finger left. And my right hand, I lost the pinky and the thumb. Some of them I was aware when they fell off, I could feel it happening. And some of them I just like literally have no idea where they fell off because I was trying to save them to just glue them on. That's not looking like it's gonna be possible at this point because I only have one left. So yeah, needless to say, these did not really work out for me. And I tried really hard to like push hard on them when I applied them because it said however much pressure you give is how long they will stay on. Lies. I don't know if it's this brand or if it's just this type of press on. Um, I already knew before going in that I didn't really like the stick on kind because I've had this same problem in the past. I don't think it's really so much dashing diva's fault. I think it's more just that type of press on nail. <sighs> Fun times. Well, they were cute while they lasted for some of them only two hours. All right, so I've been a bad YouTuber. I totally meant for this next section to be me applying my third set of my Dashing Diva glue on nails this time. This is like the classic press on style where you just get the glue and glue them on. This is the kind of press on nails that I know that I like and do well at. Um, and I, when I put these on, I just wasn't really in the mood to film it. And also I have a whole video dedicated to that. So if you're interested in learning more about the application process of these types of glue on press on nails and how to make them last, I'll link that video in the description box for you guys so that you can check that out. But I just wanted to talk really briefly about my thoughts on these and sort of wrap this review video up and give you my final thoughts finally on Dashing Diva. I think I started this whole process during Thanksgiving and now here we are, it is New Year's Day. So it's been about a month of me testing the three different nails that I bought from Dashing Diva. So to just review, that was like the little uh, sticker type gel manicure then I tried the uh, seven day one that comes with the little adhesive already attached to the back of the nail and finally the glue on ones now as you saw earlier in the video the first two sets of uh, nails did not go well for me and I kind of already knew that was gonna be the case because I have already tried both of those types of things in the past and already determined that I didn't like them and I, that was just reinforced for me this time. I, I just don't like those types of manicures, I guess you could say. This is my uh, glue on set. As I said, this is like the really fun sort of like art deco-y set that I showed you guys earlier in the video. Now I do want to say that I trimmed these down quite a bit when I put them on because they were pretty long when I put them on. Like this is even a little bit too long for me. Like it's hard for me to type on my computer and I start to notice that like my fingers start to cramp up in weird ways because like I'm holding my hands in a certain way so that like my nails don't mess me up 
you might not understand what I'm saying, but needless to say, I can't do nails longer than this. So I did file them and trim them down. They still look good. I also have to say they have not had any thoughts of popping off my fingers. I have not had one of these fall off. I have not had to reapply any of them, which I'm very impressed about. The other thing that I really have to mention about this Dashing Diva set is the fact that the accent nail, so the, the nails on my pinkies, look at how perfect condition they're in. Like not a thing is scratched. The little rhinestone is still attached to both of them. Um, nothing is chipped off. They still look like the day that I put them on. And the reason I want to mention that is because I have tried Kiss, I have tried Impress, I have tried Static Nails, and the Static Nails are kind of like the bougie, more expensive press-on nails. And let me tell you, their designs tend to chip off very quickly, which is really disappointing. It's something you're paying that much money for. However, these are still freaking mint condition. I don't know how they do it, but it looks freaking fantastic still. So that is something I have to give a huge A plus to. Other than that, these work great. So my overall thoughts on Dashing Diva. Given the fact that I already knew that the first two types of manicures that I bought, I probably wasn't gonna like. Let's just put that to the side. I really do like this press-on set and I can see myself definitely repurchasing um, some of their glue-on press-on nails. I will not be getting the sticker ones or the ones that come with the sticker already, like the little adhesive on them because those just don't work for me. But I think that those types of ones don't work for me regardless of the brand. So I don't wanna like, Dis Dashing Diva for the failures of those. Like, they just don't work for me personally. So overall, I do think this is a great press-on brand. I love the price. I love the sheer selection that they have on their site. They have so many options and I really love that. So if you're looking for a good press-on brand, I definitely recommend checking out Dashing Diva and all the awesome nails that they have. I mean, there's just so many options, so many. If you're interested in more press-on nails, I definitely want to recommend that you check out my other videos that I've made on this. I've got my static nails video and also my how to apply press-ons so they last forever linked right here. Go check those out and I will see you all on my next video. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up. I'll see you on my next video. Bye.